Good everyone, it is your favorite tutor and today is your favorite tutor on physics. Today we'll be talking about what? Power. Remember in our previous classes we discussed about work and energy and today we're talking about the concept of what? Power. What is power? Right here I have a definition on the board. It is defined as the rate of work done or the rate at which energy is expanded. Mathematically, power is equal to what? Work done over what? Time. Or energy over what? Time. Mathematically, this is the word equation for what? Power. But we know that in our previous classes, where well, we discussed that work done is what force times what displacement. So it's going to be what force times displacement over what time. And this is the same as saying force times what displacement over what time. For this, displacement over what time is known as what velocity. So therefore, we can say power is equal to what force times what velocity. We know that displacement over what time is what velocity. So therefore, power is equal to what force times what velocity. It is also equivalent to what work done over what time or energy over what time. So, these are what equations, formulas for what? Power. And also, we need to put in mind that the XI unit for power, the SI unit for power is what? The watts. Watts. So, this, whenever we are calculating for power or taking measurement on power, our units must be in what? Watts. Watts is also equivalent to what? Joules per second. Is equivalent to what? Joules per second. Because we know that from this equation, from this equation right here, power is equal to what? Work done over what? Time. Or what? Energy over what? Time. We know that energy or work done is calculated in what joules and time is calculated in what seconds. And the SI unit for power is what watts. It's also equivalent to what joules per second. And also equivalent to right here, what we have here, we know that we know that force power is also what? Force times what? Velocity. Where force is calculated in what? Newton. And velocity is what? Meter per second. So, just per second is also equivalent to what? Newton meter per second. Right here, these are the what? Unit for what? Power. Either we use the watts, the joules per second or newton meter per second. This is the SI unit for power, while these are the what the derived what unit for what power. Joules per second, newton meter per second. Alright, so I'm going to drop some questions on the board and then we'll solve. We'll see how far we go. Just hold on a minute. All right, these are questions on power. So we are going to evaluate these questions. But before we move further, remember that the SI unit for what power is what watts. Whenever we are calculating for power, our unit should be on what watts, which is the same thing as, which is equivalent to what the joules per second also equivalent to what? Newton meter per second. Now this is the what? The SI unit. Why joules per second is the derived unit from what? Work 
work done over what? Time. Why newton per second, newton meter per second is also a derived unit of what? Power from what? Force times what? Velocity. So these are what units for what? Power. But the SI unit, standard unit, is what? Watts. Now, other units, other units of power, other units of power, we have the what? The kilowatts. Kilowatts. We have the kilowatts, the megawatts, and the OS power. Now, kilowatts, the kilowatts is known as, the kilowatts is known as what, 1,000 watts, because kilo here means what, 1,000, 1,000. The kilowatts, or we can say 1 kilowatt is what, equals to what, 1,000 what, watts. For megawatts, 1 megawatt is equals to what, which is 1 million watts. 1 megawatt is equals to what, 1 million watts. Why for the horsepower? The horsepower is equals to what, 746 watts. So these are other units of what, power. All right, these questions, that we have here, we are going to solve them. We're going to uh, evaluate them using the word the formula for word power. I want you guys to take a good look at that, at those questions. Let me put it out front. Okay. All right. So the first one says an engine raises hundred kilogram of water through a height of six a height of 60 meter in 20 seconds what is the power of the engine take g which is acceleration due to gravity as well 10 meter per second square that's for number one number two says how long will it take a 60 kilogram man to climb a height of 22 meter if he expended energy at the rate of 0.25 kilowatts all right for number three number three says a girl whose mass is 20 kilogram climbs up 25 ste steps each of height 15 centimeter in what 10 seconds calculate the what power expanded calculate the power expanded please just take Take down these questions. Just take it down. All right. Now that we have taken down the questions, let's see. Let's solve. First of all, we'll bring out the parameters out. Solution to what number one? We we'll bring out the parameters as an engine raises hundred watts kilogram. Kilogram is what mass. So therefore, the mass is equal to what? 100 what? kg of water through a height. The height is equal to what? 60 meter. In what? 20 seconds. Time is what? 20 what? Seconds. What is the power of the word engine? And we're given what acceleration due to gravity as what 10 meter per second what square. Now, if we look at all these quantities, first of all, are they in their respective units? Mass in kilogram, yes. Height in what meter, yes. Time in what seconds, yes. Acceleration due to gravity in meter per second square, yes. They are all in their what respective what units. So therefore, we are good to go. And we're asked to, we are looking for what? Power. So therefore, we know that power is equal to what? Work done over what? Time. 
isn't it? That's the what equation for what power. And from our previous classes, we discussed that if it if it involves gravity, gravity. If work done, if it involves gravity, work done becomes what mg what h over what time because it's no longer what it's no longer what um, you know that work done is what force let me wipe this thing out and do it again we know that work done is what force times what displacement over what time so therefore the work done becomes since it involves gravity it means that there is what weights there is weights it's the same thing as saying weights the weight times what distance over what time so this will now become a, what is weight weight is what mg mg and the word the displacement which is x will now take what height over what time so we will now use this word equation to evaluate this question because it has all the quantities we have here mg word h over word time so therefore to get the words the power right here power is equals to what what is m m is what 100 times what g g is what 10 times what height the height here is what 60 all over what time time here is what time is what 20 what seconds 20 seconds so therefore let's move further power is equals to what 20 can divide 60 which is a uh, 3 20 year 1 20 into 60 is what 3 so this is what 100 times what 10 times what 3 so power is equals to what 100 times 10 is what 1000 1000 times 3 is what 3000 what? watts 3000 watts equivalent to what 3 kilowatts so this is the word the answer to this word question all right putting down i'm going to wipe this this side of the board i'll wipe it so that i can move out to word number two just take it down all right we are back again number two solution for what number two let's solve number two it says how long will it take how long how long that means we are looking for what time time how long will it take so we are looking for what time will it take a what 60 kg 60 kg what man to climb so therefore the mass is equal to what 60 what kg kg to climb a height height is equal to what 22 what meter if he expended energy at the rate of if he expended what energy at the rate of 0 0.25 kilowatt kilowatt this is for what power kilowatt 0 0.25 volt kilowatts so we are looking for what time we are looking for what time but before we move further let us check all these what quantities are they in their what respective units mass kg yes correct height in what meter correct power in what kilowatts all right we have to convert this kilowatts to what what put it in its respective what units kilo like i said before kilo is what 1000 
So therefore, this is equals to what? 0 0.25 times what? 1000 watts, which is equals to what? 250 watts watts. So therefore, power is now in its own respective word, unit. All right, we are good to go. We are good to go. So it involves heights. That our power is equal to what the mg word h over what time. Since it involves what height, and of course g, g is what always what ten meter per second square. So what is power? Power, power is what two hundred and what fifty what watts. Yeah, it is right here. 200 and what 50 which is equal to what the mass mass is what 60 times what g g is what always 10 meter per second square which is what 10 yeah this is just the approximated what figure normally g is what 9 point what 8 9.8 meter per second square but we are using the approximated figure which is what 10 meter per seconds square and then height height is what 22 22 meter all over what time so therefore we are looking for what time now for us to get time we have to cross multiply for us to get time we'll cross multiply and make time the subject word formula So, therefore, first of all, let us sum up this value uh, and give, put down the product of this value. This is what 250 equals to what? Right here, 60 times 10 times what? 22 is 100 and what? 32 is okay. Yeah, I think this is correct. Yes, it's correct. All over what? Time. Then we do what? Cross multiply. Cross multiply. When we cross multiply, this is 200, uh, 250 times t is what? 200 and what? 50 what? t equals to what? Equals to what? Why this value here is going to multiply by 1, which is 1, 3, 2, 0, 0. Then we'll make T subject formula. We'll make T subject formula. We'll now divide both sides by what? 200 and what? 50. So therefore, T is equal to what? 1, 3, 2, 0, 0. Which is what? 13,200 divided by what? 250. When we divide this, when we divide this, We'll get uh, 50, 52.8 yeah, in what seconds? 52.8 in what seconds? All right, this is the what? The time rate at which this uh, power is being, the, work, the energy is being what? Expanded. All right, put it down, put it down. Okay, continuation, solution to number three, solution to number three, all right, it says a girl whose mass, the mass is what, 20 kg, mass, 20 what, kg, all right, in his respective unit, is correct, climbs up 25 steps each of height, 15 centimeter, all right, each steps, each steps, each, each steps is what? 20, uh, is um, 15 centimeter. So if, if each steps is what? 15 centimeter, a steps, a step, a step is what? 15 what? Centimeter. Okay. 
and the girl climbs up 25 steps. She climbs up 25 what steps? Step is 15 centimeters. She climbs up 25 steps. Now, if this is the height of a step, 15 centimeter, and we know that the unit for what height is what meter, we need to convert this to what meter. To convert centimeter to what meter, we divide by what 100. You divide by what 100. So therefore, this is what 15 divided by what 100, which is equal to what, 0 0.15 volt meter. So therefore, total height, total height of staircase. Total height of staircase will be what? 0 0.15 times what? 22. If a steps is what? 0 0.15 and the guy climbs 22 what? Steps. So it's 22. No, no, no. No, it's what? 25. She climbs what? 25 what? Steps. 25 steps. So therefore, it's going to be what? 0 0.15 times what? 25. So therefore, the total height will be equal to what? 3.75 meter. Yes, it's going to be what? 3.75 what? 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 meter. All right, <clears throat> from what we have here, 75 meter in what 10 seconds? The time is what 10 what seconds. Time is what 10 seconds. So therefore, we are looking for calculate the word power expanded. We are looking for the word power, and we're given acceleration due to gravity, which is what 10 meter per seconds what square. We are also using the formula. P equals to what? Mg what? H over what? T because it involves what? Gravity. Solution to your gravity. So therefore the power is equal to what? What is M? M is what? 20 times what? G. G is what? 10 times what? H. The total height is what? 3.75. All over what? Time. Time is what? 10. Very easy. So 10 will cancel out 10. So therefore, power is equal to what? 20 times what? 3.7 what? 5. This is equal to power. This is equal to 75 watts. All right. This is our answer to the what? The question 75 watts. What? Please put it down, put it down. All right. We have an assignment on the board. Take a good look at it. Just put it down. A water pump at Kenji Dam is capable of lifting 1,000 kilograms of water through a vertical height of 10 meter in 10 seconds calculate the power of the pump all right that one is for you try and see how far you can go with the illustration with what we learned today i think you are capable of doing that all right this brings us to the end of this section once again i remain your favorite tutor please subscribe and god bless you thank you very much